Train the muscles, not the joints. Oh, hey guys. Welcome to Natural Lamp Bodybuilding. And today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about something, like a quick subject. I'm just about to go into the gym, so I thought maybe I'd just do a quick videos for you guys too as well, not just always long format stuff. So one thing I wanna talk about today is that there are different ways for you to burn out or overtrain. And a lot of times people just have overtraining as a word that is thrown onto everything. And basically it's oversimplification of many different things that can be happening in the body at the time. So these people say overtraining, and therefore they mean energetic burnout. So say somebody's burning out all the time with high reps and strip sets and everything, it's almost like their energy production is burned out. So that whole system seems to not be firing anymore or it's just taxed, right? It's kind of like you can only get so much juice out of a grape and then it becomes kind of dry. It's the same way when it comes down to energy production. Sometimes your body is just burned out with the enzymes and everything and it just cannot give you the energy for a high rep endurance workout, right? So there's the endurance type of burnout. Then there's the nervous system type of burnout where basically just the nervous system's ability to fire the muscles is affected, such as uh, explosive type reps or doing heavy weight all the time where the body's constantly uh, firing the muscles really hard or doing super high level of coordination type exercises. So the nervous system can get burned out. So there's the energy system, there's the nervous system, and then of course we also have the tissue burnout, such as joints, right, ligaments, tendons, and, and uh, you know, all the insertion points of these tendons and stuff sometimes can become inflamed if they're being pulled on or yanked on or used with too extreme a range of motion or too much weight too often, right? So these are the three major forms of burnout to take into account in your training. So when I'm writing up the super frequency program that I'm writing up right now, I'm taking these different factors into account and adjusting rep ranges and exercises to accommodate this or these phenomena that go on in your training. So ideally, you may be experiencing burnout in one system, but maybe not burnout in the others. So you adjust your rep ranges and your exercises accordingly to take care of this, right? Because obviously if your nervous system is burned out, maybe doing light weights is going to give it a little bit of a rest for a period of time. Or maybe if your immune system is burned out from recovery, maybe you just need to take a couple days off. <laughs> Skirt. Right? And the same thing when it comes down to energy production. Maybe you need to not do sets to failure for a period of time because you're not having a great energy production at that time. Maybe your body's like, okay, the glycogen, the glycogen pathway is just kind of burned out. So give that a rest by just doing sets, handling weight, but not necessarily taking them deep into failure or doing any strip sets, you know what I'm saying? So this is a simple sort of lesson to you. Sometimes words or, or uh, buzzwords are used to label something, but they're not necessarily telling the whole picture. Okay, it's the corner. Signs in the corner, perfect match, corner cafe. So that's that's really the thing. So I'm gonna go in the gym now, just taking my uh, amino acids here. I guess, you know, having enough protein helps you with tissue burnout, right? To make sure that your tissue doesn't get broken down so much. You wanna make sure that your body is always recovering and has the building blocks to recover. So that's why I take these super aminos, right? If you wanna try these super aminos out with 50 bucks off, the link's in the description. And you can also try the can't beat this pre-workout which helps with what? Energy production, you know what I'm saying? So again, if you take care of all these different systems, your training's gonna be better, more consistent, and yeah, that's how you become lumpy and bumpy, baby lumpy bumpy, mountain. But in the end, who cares about lumpy and bumpy? You being happy and uninjured is the most important thing, so remember that. As much as I clown around and talk about training and all that kind of stuff, most importantly, is you're fulfilled in the inside. Who gives a shit about all this superficial stuff? And this is just a game we play, okay? It's just a game. This gives me an excuse to talk to you guys. That's really what it is. It really isn't anything else besides that. So if any of you are feeling less of value because you're not as muscular or as lean as you think you should be or whatever, throw that shit out the door. You know what I mean? Because like in the end, this is just a game. And you know what? Being the mountain means you're the mountain on the inside, you know? That, that's really the most important thing, so. Thanks a lot for the support, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in. And I'm gonna be doing videos every single day. I hope you enjoy them. Mountain. And yeah, take care, man. And oh yeah, thanks to the Patreon supporters. These guys really helped me make this content. And if you guys do buy workout programs or music from me, or even if you buy uh, you know, supplements and stuff like that, that does help support the channel. So thanks a lot for all that support. All right, I gotta go train. I've been stalling now. I gotta go train.